Hey guys, welcome back to the Happy Power channel. Today we have for you guys a bunch of stuff revolving around, well, free rewards today. And we also have for you guys a bunch of stuff for the future of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. Now, we're not quite sure if there will be a level edit for this season, but there will be something pretty fantastic. And it could be something like you guys are seeing in the background video. So, lots of great stuff to look forward to. As always, we host giveaways every single week. So, for a chance to win this week, like today's video, comment down below, giveaway, that was absolutely essential. And of course, be subscribed with the notifications on. I am also posting a 1000 V-Buck code as a bonus and a pinned comment about 25 minutes after the video goes live. So, make sure you guys stay tuned and return to the video in that time period. So hopping directly into it, we have for you guys, first things up is of course the free rewards for, well, Women's History Month. So first things up is together we can grab all Victory Royales, and here's the trailer for that. Alright, so right now inside the item shop, you guys can actually claim, well, all the stuff you guys are seeing in the back of you. The heart sign uh, emoji, which by the way is completely broken. Uh, the Per Aspera and Astra, I believe, weapon wrap. Uh, I am fearless, uh, music track, and hop and wink uh, spray. So yeah, it's actually some pretty great rewards. I encourage you guys to actually cop these because, well, they're free, so why not? Now, weirdly enough, the actual emo for today that's free is currently broken. You guys actually hear this across the map no matter where you guys are. It's a very weird, ominous sound. So here's that clip. So yeah guys, whether you guys are inside a creative mode or battle royale, you're probably going to hear this emo go off like a crazy, crazy amount of time because, well, it is completely broken. So troll your friends and play it across the map to drive them crazy. And by the way, expect to be disabled in just a few short minutes after the video goes live. Uh, in other news, iconic sounds on the radio, uh, icons radio on the air for March this month, the station spotlighting a wide range of women icons to music. Uh, turn to Icon Radio in your Joyride vehicle and drive along to some songs by these artists. So yeah guys, uh, the radio will be taken over by a bunch of female artists, so congrats to them. In other news, we have already guys, Concept Royale is now back. So uh, submit your most frightening and ghoulish outfit concept to Twitter or, by, or Instagram using Concept Royale Contest in 2022. For a chance to have your art immortalized in game, enter by April 5th. Now, considering they're actually getting ready for, I guess, Halloween time, even though it passed very, very long time ago, uh, yeah, uh, supposedly you guys actually get your skin inside the game. Now, a very cool one I want to point out is, of course, Solar. So, Solar actually made this like Birdman, and it looks absolutely crazy. So, uh, honestly, I would definitely vote for this one, but let me know your favorite concept down below and let me know what artist that actually is because I might feature them in the next upcoming video. In other news, uh, some fun facts from Timeless Order who keeps up with the Fortnite storyline. Gino is now spelled without the accent at the end, uh, shown during the chapter 2 uh, end event. Gino comes from the Genesis origin and very likely can be part of the Seven or once were. So those are some cool facts revolving around, of course, the Seven's, uh, I guess, founder, Gino. In other news, I missed this from yesterday since I did not upload, but a brand new sinkhole has now appeared. So sinkhole number two from Fortnite Assist. The second sinkhole has now appeared southeast of Tilted Towers, leaving the ruins behind of the Red House. So yes, this will be now the second sinkhole, and there will be one final sinkhole before the end of Chapter 3 in general, the first season. So uh, to take us into Chapter 3 Season 2, there might be some more sinkholes or earthquakes or the apocalyptic earthquake that we've been warning you guys about for quite some time. So in case you guys missed that, yes, there will be an apocalyptic earthquake as far as the last earthquake, which could actually result in the Seven Statue or the Rock Statue or the Foundation Statue uh, essentially cracking open, and maybe we'll see a lot of that for that. So... Yeah, there should be a lot of great stuff upcoming. Now, uh, to kind of add to this, the creator descriptive today uh, was sinkhole number two, and it was added in 19.30. In 19.40, all the creator map overlays were added. This one is a before state of the third one. The before POI won't be used, but it will still get destroyed. But here are the sinkholes and their locations. So yeah, the third sinkhole will actually be over the seventh outpost, as we let you guys know. So. Yep, that's the last one to look forward to into our next topic. Uh, I just remember the time when Epic accidentally uploaded the loading screen for an unknown mode codenamed Saturn to the Fortnite API. This concept art slash loading screen alone seems very interesting to me. I hope you will get news about this mode sometimes this year or so. 
And yeah, so this like weird looking artwork was actually officially uploaded a long time ago, like several months ago and probably even a year at this point ago. And we still have no idea what it's actually for, but it looks like a little mini game as far as Fortnite. So it could be a brand new game or it could be a mini game inside of a mini game. So that's also pretty interesting. Uh, we have we have for you guys an update thanks to Nano's uh, update. Either the skin is available on March 10th or March 10th is a date on which the skin will be given to those who have purchased the new game and therefore the skins will arrive in store soon. The info is not clear, sorry for the confusion. And he's actually talking about the upcoming Assassin's Creed X Fortnite collaboration. So here's a great look at that and that should be coming up over on March 5th, so three days from today. Finally speaking, we have already got a mysterious hint as far as season two or something coming at the end of the season from Donald Mustard, who of course always teased something. So if you guys ask me, this definitely looks like a drill or possibly an upcoming tank, but honestly, I'm kind of leaning more towards the drill. So what's also really weird is a lot of people who absolutely love Legos notice that the set he's actually using is actually for a Star Wars AT-AT. So we're not quite sure if they're teasing an upcoming Star Wars collaboration, but according to Shida, that's likely not the case, which is kind of strange because you would really think that if he's using this set, it's probably for Star Wars. But he said uh, next season is not a Star Wars collaboration, by the way. I've seen many people assume that in the replies to the tweet I posted a few hours ago, but it's definitely not the case. Which him and Hypex definitely know because they get stuff early, but yeah, I don't really know what to think about this. I assume it's just a coincidence that he's using the ATAT -AT set to build the drill, but who knows in my opinion. So that's all I have for you guys for today's video. Let us know your theories on today's uploads down below, and as always, stay happy and have a great rest of your day.